Dr. Brown, what do you tell um, your patients that talk with you about some of the misleading information or misinformation and some of the fear mongering we see about the vaccine? Come talk to us. Don't don't get suckered into the clickbait. They make money from you clipping on their, clicking on their ads, watching their YouTube videos. They have financial gain in putting the most outrageous theories out there. Come talk to us. We know what we're talking about. We went to school forever. <laughs> we sacrifice our time from our family for this. Um, these other people that are putting this stuff out there do not. They are making profits off of spreading lies and misinformation. Could not agree with you more. So there's a new tag that I see that's going around that people put on some of their social media posts that say disinformation is deadly. And I think that's true. A, a lot of the disinformation is, has led to loss of life. Yes. And, and maybe even in hyperbolized fear because people don't know if they should be more afraid of the virus or the vaccine. Yes. And so I think one thing we want to talk about today is just to reassure our community that we do care so much about and our colleagues that this is safe. And I, I agree, I think it's a nice way to say it, disinformation is deadly. And, and there are hospitals in the community full of resources. And so any employee that has questions, you know, come and talk to one of us. We don't just work on the front line. We have coffee with people and try to talk in the break rooms and make sure everybody is um, secure and, and well informed. And I think it's a, a privilege to be able to do that with, with people with whom I work. And I think also one point, another point is that we are happy to continue to sacrifice on behalf of our patients. The reason that we went to school and, and, and kind of you know, internship, fellowship, residency and fellowship is to give care in critical situations. But I think it's crucial for those receiving the vaccine or declining the vaccine at the current point to understand that for every COVID patient and every ICU that we fill up with COVID patients, there are less opportunities to take care of people with coronary artery disease who have heart attacks, people with cancers who need an urgent surgery, but not something considered emergency surgery, or even for patients with trauma, there are no ICU beds in other states for these things that are routine indications for critical care. So in addition to taking the vaccine for all the reasons that we've talked about, you may some save uh, someone else's life as well as yours. I just hope everybody approaches us and asks us questions to obtain accurate information. I hate for anybody, including my family or my kids, to make a wrong decision based on a wrong information. Please come, on, come to us, ask us questions, clarify if there, is a por if there is a point or a reason why you're afraid or why you're hesitant. Uh, talk to us so we can educate you more on the topic and uh, advise you properly so that you're aware.